Good morning, everyone. In today's session, we will be discussing a problem from the absolute maxima and minima part. The question is, find the absolute maximum and minimum values of f of x, y, which is equal to 3xy minus 6x minus 3y plus 7 on the closed rectangular region of the vertices 0, 0, 3, 0, and 0, 5. So the triangle is shown as this. Now let's move to the solution. So in order to find the maximum and minimum values, first we want to find the critical values of f. Now the critical values are found by equating the first partial derivative fx and fy to 0. We know that fx is equal to 3y minus 6, which is equal to 0, and fy is equal to 3x minus 3. And this is also, should, this should be also equal to 0. fx equal to 0 means y, you will get it as 6 by 3, that is equal to 2, and 3x minus 3 equal to 0 implies x is equal to 1. So the point 1 comma 2 is a critical point and it is the only critical point for the function f of x comma y. Next we want to determine the location of the points on the boundary of this triangular region at which absolute extrema absolute extrema means absolute maxima or minima might occur the boundary of r consists of three line segment each of which we will treat separately now let's start with the line segment joining 0 0 and 3, 0. So the equation of this line segment is y is equal to 0 and x is varying between 0 and 3. So f of x comma 0 will be equal to you are substituting y equal to 0 you will get minus 6x plus 7 now when we take the derivative let's call this as u of x and u dash of x that is taking the derivative with respect to x you will get it as minus x which is not equal to 0 hence there are no critical points on the line segment joining 0 0 and 3 0. Thus, the extreme values of x can occur at either x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. Now, let's take the line segment joining 0 0 and 0, 5. So the equation of the straight line is x equal to 0 and y is varying from 0 to 5. So f of 0 comma y which we are denoted it by v of y which is equal to which is equal to f of 0 comma y is equal to minus 3y plus 7 
and y is varying between 0 and 5. So taking the derivative v dash of y with respect to y, we will get it as minus 3, which is not equal to 0. Hence, there are no critical points on the boundary of the line joining 0, 0 and 0, 5. Hence, the critical x or the absolute extrema can occur either at 0, 0 or at the end point 0, 5. Now let's consider the last line segment, which is a line joining the point 3, 0 and 0, 5. So y minus 0 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus 3. So y is equal to minus 5 by 3 x plus 5. This is the equation of the line and x is varying from 0 to 3. Now, when you substitute y equal to minus 5 by 3x plus 5 in f of x comma y, minus 5 by 3x plus 5, you will get 3x into y is minus 5 by 3x plus 5 minus 6x minus 3 into minus 5 by 3x plus 5 plus 7. So you will get after simplification, this is minus 5x square plus 15x minus 6x minus minus plus 5x minus 15 plus 7. So this is equal to minus 5x square 14x minus 8. And x is varying between 0 to 3. So I'm, I'm calling this f of x comma minus 5 by 3x plus y as w of x, which is a function of x. Now let's take the derivative w dash of x, which is equal to minus 10x plus 14 equal to 0 implies x is equal to 14 by 10, or that is equal to 7 by 5, which is the only critical point of W. And if W is equal to 7 by 5, if W is equal to 7 by 5, if X is equal to 7 by 5, we will get corresponding Y as minus 5 by 3, into 7 by 5 plus 5 and that is equal to minus 7 by 3 plus 5 which is equal to 15 minus 7 is 8 by 3. So the critical values of w can either occur at the extrema can either occur at 7 by 5 and x equal to 7 by 5 or at the end points x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. Now let's calculate the value of f of x comma y at each points. So we have x comma y the points and I'm calculating going to calculate f of x comma y. The endpoints are 0, 0, 
three zero zero five and we got one more critical one critical point as one comma two the first critical point which was occurring inside the region and the second critical point which was occurring on the line joining three zero and zero five was seven by five comma eight by three so x comma y the values will be at we know f of x comma y is equal to three x y minus six x minus three y plus seven so f of x comma y at zero zero will be zero 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 plus seven so that is equal to seven at three comma zero that is substituting x equal to three y equal to zero we will get minus 18 plus 7 and that is equal to minus 11. now 0 comma 5 means x equal to 0 y equal to 5 we will get minus 15 plus 7 and that is equal to minus 8. similarly x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 the answer will be 3 into 2 6 minus 6 plus sorry minus 6 plus 7 and that will be equal to 1 again at the critical point 7 by 5 comma 8 by 3 you will get the value as 9 by 5. So from this table, we can see that the maximum value of f of x comma y is occurs at 0 comma 0 and the minimum value is minus 11 which is occurring at one end point which is 3 comma 0. So for finding the absolute values inside a closed region we are first finding the critical values and finding the critical values on the boundaries and also calculating the values at the end points of the region and comparing these values to obtain absolute maximum or absolute minimum. Thank you.